In this video, we're going to look at how to create a material for using an Adobe Dimension. First, find a seamless texture background, or if you don't have a seamless one, you're going to have to make one. Maybe I'll make another video on that. First, let's save the image as the color map. is a JPEG. Next we need to create a 3D mesh layer, a depth map. Go to Window, 3D, and we're going to select Mesh from Depth Map, Plane, Create, Next, go to your 3D tab, click on Background, and if you scroll down on Properties, go to this Normal folder and say Generate Normals from Diffuse. In this pop-up, you can modify the texture and the depth map. Go ahead and click OK. Next, scroll back down again and on Normal, do Edit Texture. And this is the normal map we want. We need to go to File, Export, Export As, and select JPEG. Now we can close out our layers and I'm going to do an undo. I should have made a duplicate of the layer first. This time go to Filter, 3D, Generate Bump Map. You can modify this one as needed again with the detail and the contrast. I'm just going to save this one as is. We need to go to File, Save As, and save this as our bump JPEG. Next we're going to create one more layer and fill it with black. We'll save this one as just black. JPEG. If we click on Sphere Material, we can scroll down and choose Normals. We're going to select our Normals image. On Roughness, we're going to select our Bump Map. For metallic, we're going to choose our black. And for the base color, we're going to select our cork image. So you can see a bit of a seam if if you didn't have a completely seamless material, you'll notice that seam more prevalent.
Another note, if you need to change the scale of the texture on your object, you can scroll down to textures here, still click on the material, and make sure it's locked, and you can increase this number. You'll notice that the texture is getting smaller, which looks a bit more realistic. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.